Investigators with the Illinois Attorney General's Office have been called here to the Saline County Courthouse after county officials voiced concerns that the openness and transparency of this year's election could be at risk. I said I jumped right over here. I drove, came over here and intervened this morning. Saline County State's Attorney Jason Clark said he received a number of complaints Monday morning that County Clerk Kim Buchanan was refusing to allow poll watchers to oversee the processing of early voting results. Poll watchers are commonly appointed by political parties to ensure fairness and transparency in elections. This is America. We have open elections. That everybody gets to watch what happens. Clark says this morning was especially important because due to an equipment malfunction, the county had to rerun all of the early voting ballots through a new machine. But Clark says after getting the poll watchers inside to oversee the processing, Buchanan kicked them out the moment he left. She didn't just kick them out, she built a barricade where they couldn't even see what was happening back there when they were running those ballots through the machine for the second time. Um, so that's pretty egregious. Clark says that's why he got the Attorney General's office involved. Investigators forced Buchanan to remove the barricade and allow the poll watchers to do their jobs. We asked Buchanan why she didn't allow the poll watchers in, and instead of answering, this happened. Is there a reason no that you were not allowing here. poll watchers? Um, no and is there a reason that you weren't allowing? Yeah, but this is a public building. After Clark intervened, saying it's a public building where we're allowed to shoot video, we reached out to Buchanan again. Would you answer any of the questions that we had earlier? But she refused to provide any answers. Have you ever seen anything like this with an election before? Never. Never. Clark says that officials with the Attorney General's office will oversee voting tomorrow to ensure there's no issues and put any doubts to rest. Reporting in Saline County, Andrew Feather, News 3.